another episode of the Art Bros. What's up? Hey. Brought to you by me, Mike. And as always with me, Fancy Dave. Always here. We're doing the thing that we love to do, talk about art in a not-so-formal way so you guys can learn how to appreciate it a little more. You know, because we're really stupid students. <laughs> so uh, hopefully I can learn with you guys. <laughs> so uh, we are talking today about a painting by an artist duo called... The artist duo called Romer and Romer, mm -hmm. uh, a German and a Russian artist combined and fused together yep. to make Romer and Romer. <laughs> and they are an artist couple that work in Germany. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. If we're pronouncing this correctly, Torsten and Nina Ro Romer. Romer. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. So this painting is called Face to Face, made in 2010, oil on canvas. It is a painting. Yep. 79 by 104 inches. It's pretty big. Yep. So when you look at this, you automatically think, "Oh, well, this is looks like um, it looks like AOL internet in like 1995." Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is how I used to watch videos. But when you look at it closely, you actually see that it's a bunch of paint blobs put together. When you think of paint blobs, what do you think of? You think of post-impressionism. Yep. Seurat. Pointillism. Pointillism, but uh, in globs. In globs, yeah. So it's globs. So the globs actually remind me of Lichtenstein's Bend Eight dots. Mm -hmm. You look at paintings like Brad, Call Help. Wow, Drowning Girl. Thank yep. you. Yep. Thank, you artist. <laughs> Thank you, Art History Major. Uh, you look at Drowning Girl, uh, and you see these little circles of paint. To emulate the uh, comic books. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I get from this. Uh, obviously, that's the inspiration behind these. And then there's just the subject matter. This really colorful, beautiful scene yep. of a just a street in Japan. Yep. Um, of uh, two young ladies in the uh, specific subculture of Lolita fashion. I think it's specifically sweet Lolita. They look so cute. Yeah. Look at them. They're adorable. Yep, doing their shopping. <laughs> so why do you think Romer and Robert decided to, if they, they could have painted anything in this amazing style of theirs, this pixelated sort of style, why do you think they decided to go with this subculture, Dave? Like, what, what comes to you? For me, mm -hmm. I like to think that they decided to paint this, and of course, this is one of the whole series in this in this uh, painting Specifically style. Specifically with subcultures yeah. and youth. Youth and subcultures. I think they decided to go with the this Japanese subculture because it's kind of the way we see the world. Yeah, because... Uh... Like, even, you know, there's that stupid thing, like, oh, Japan is so weird, lol, random. Yeah, lol, lol. Yeah, but, like, that's because that's what we're exposed to. Exactly. And this is kind of getting a snapshot of that. Um, and obviously, with the digital age, it's, it's, it's supposed to emulate something, a digital image. Yeah. To an extreme, obviously. And we're talking about the digital age. I want to talk about the characters themselves. Actually, I would say characters. These are these painters themselves. Yeah. Romer and Romer. They are the some of the most eccentric people. I've met people that knew them, know them personally. Yeah. That have worked with them personally, and you can tell from this photo they're just very, very stoically eccentric, and they don't really look like the average couple, which no. I really have to respect, honestly. So, they put on this persona of Romer and Romer, mm -hmm. and I believe it's part of their art to put on this persona because they really they work in the digital age they work in mixed media with a lot of digitalness photography video mm -hmm. and and they incorporate that into painting i think that they're commenting on the the i want to say fakeness of the digital age too yeah how we see them these characters they put on because that's what they want us to see is these characters just like we put on these characters online mm -hmm. our facebook profiles our blogs our snapchats whatever it is you know we want to look like we're where we have a social life or we're gonna look like we have you know we're actually just eating potato chips and and watching anime the whole day yeah like that <laughs> one thing you do that's what people know you as. exactly yeah. yeah yeah and you know when i think of Roma and Roma, i think of their craziness uh but that's what they want me to think and i believe that's why uh that is infused in these paintings that's yeah. what infused in this sort of subculture and you know we see these girls and we see these girls in the painting, we think, you know, oh, look, cute little Lita mm -hmm. girls, and they must be, like, super quiet the whole time, but we don't know that. Yeah. You know, um, and so, you got something to say? Oh, say. uh, yeah, I, I just found it interesting, like, we were, uh, we were talking before, early before this recording, uh, I was saying it, it kind of reminds me, like, it's almost in the inverse of, uh, 
<laughs> impressionism. It is. Yeah, you're right. Because uh, with impressionism, it was almost part of it was a reaction to the uh, the invention of the camera. You know, why draw like these very technical drawings if you can just capture it with the camera? And in one second. But here, it's trying to copy something <laughs> that paint. Shouldn't really, uh, I, I guess, uh, emulate. Doesn't, You're right. Doesn't need to emulate but the digital. You're uh, right. Yeah. Specifically, the pixels. Yeah, it's copying pixels. It is. It's, it's copying, and ironically, it's copying what cameras shouldn't be doing. You know. Yeah. It's kind of highlighting that. Uh, you're right. That is an inverse of the post impressions and what it was trying to do. Uh, so, I really do. Before we end, I would really do want to talk about. Uh, how this is a comment on, I just mentioned it before, how we see the world. Mm -hmm. You and I, Fancy Dave, we've seen the world. We have seen the uh, towers in Italy. Mm -hmm. We've seen beautiful volcanoes that, you know, we've never... The, the irony isn't lost on the fact that we do art bros, yet we've never been to these other countries that house these things. <laughs> it's so true. You know, it's, <laughs> you and I have seen the greatest pieces in, in the world of art. And talk and, shit about them. And we've talked shit about them, but we have never seen them face to face. That's the name yeah. of this painting, face to face. Yeah. It's not just that store in the back. We've never seen them face to face um, because... We know so much about them because of the internet, because of the digital age, because of books and the photographs that are taken of them. This is a comment, in my opinion, this is a comment on how people perceive the world now. Yep. There's just a pixelated image that you're looking at. This is what you're looking at. Uh, it's a little more upfront. Or like it's what's presented to you, at least. There you go. That's, what it, that's a better yeah. word. It's presented to you. Japan's obviously more complicated than of course. this subculture. Of course. You just see everything on the surface. But when you think of Japan, you think... Yeah, the craziness, but no, no, no. There's this is that. just an aspect of it. There's more to that, and I do, yeah. I do find, I do find it interesting that a German and Russian artists mm -hmm. decide to take, you know, show us Japanese culture. Mm -hmm. It's such an international take, and I really do like that. I like that a lot. So, um, what are your final thoughts on this, on this guy before we let these people go? More of these guys. Um, the more we've been looking at this and covering it, the more I've been liking it. Um, more, now that you pointed out your viewpoints on this, thank you. Um, so yeah, man, you know me, I like it. He likes it. Uh, so yeah, I just I want to focus. I want you guys to leave, uh, just questioning. You know, what have I really seen? Mm -hmm. You know, because this is it's, that's what this painting does for me. What have I really seen? You know, it makes me want to go out there and actually see the things that you and I talk about mm -hmm. online and whatnot. Someday. Yeah, Money. and you know, there's yeah, the irony is not lost in the fact that. We're just continuing the cycle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, uh, uh, like us on YouTube. I'm sorry, subscribe to us on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Yep. Uh, follow us on Twitter. All the links are down below. In the description. Leave, leave a comment on anything that you would want us to cover. Yeah. We got more episodes in the works. We got some radio shows in the works. Uh, hopefully, everything will work out. And Maybe we'll more guests. More guests. Yes. Uh, and if you haven't checked out last week's episode, it is an episode on Batman Year One with professional comedian Nat Towson, who is hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, so check that out. We will see you guys next time on the Art Bros. Face to face. Yep. Peace out. Till next time. <laughs>